guys welcome back to my channel so I'm sure I've already done a proper intro by now so this is gonna have to suffice but I'm trying to um, show you guys like each of the steps that I did to do this DIY um, my birthday photo shoot basically creating your own home studio um, so right now I've already tested out setting up the backdrop stand I've already tested out the actual backdrops themselves and now I'm gonna be painting an old wooden stool white to kind of go with the aesthetic a little bit better um so yeah this isn't necessary but these are just some of the steps um, that i took in order for it to come out picture perfect the way i wanted it to so just keep watching and let's go okay guys so i accidentally forgot <laughs> to record the before and then the after so this is the after and then what it would have looked like or what it did look like before it was painted with another stool that's literally its mate so that's the old stool that's what the white stool looked like before i painted it as you can see it's super old very dingy looking literally is just like in the backyard so now what i'm doing here is it's actually super late i think at this point it was like probably like i don't know 2 a.m it was very late and this is the morning of the shoot and i'm just stuffing the balloons so i got some clear balloons from amazon and some like fake some faux grass from amazon and i'm literally just stuffing it inside the balloon to give like i don't know just a very unique aesthetic instead of just having like plain old balloons so yeah, very tedious, but it came out really, really cute, so. So this is the end result of the balloon. So this is the day of the actual shoot. That's what the balloons looked like. It's probably not all that impressive, but I thought they were super cute. Um, I don't know, it looked like, I don't know what's called a, uh, I don't know, I don't know what it's called, but as you can see, things are starting to get popping. So right here, um, I ordered some soft boxes. I got my soft boxes from Amazon. No, actually, I got my soft boxes from Overstock. Um, with everything going on, it's been super, 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 super hard to get stuff from, um, from Amazon. So I ended up ordering these from Overstock. I want to say they were like $30. They were actually very, very cheap. And I wanted to make sure that I had soft boxes just to catch the light on um, my backyard and with the weather lately it can be very flaky to get good lighting so i just wanted to make sure just in case it was a cloudy day kind of how it looks now that i would just be good to go so right now i'm just setting up the soft boxes they come with instructions so i mean it's pretty self-explanatory there's not really like much to to say so i mean i can i will definitely link the soft boxes that I purchased so you guys can see them but yeah so as you guys can see now the soft boxes are officially up um they're the first things that I put together just because they had just arrived literally probably two hours before I wanted to shoot so I didn't know how long it was going to take me to set them up and I don't really have like a lot of experience using them myself i've seen photographers use them but i don't really have a lot of experience personally so i wanted to make sure that was together and then throw up the backdrop so i also got the backdrop stand from overstock um and i got the white backdrop from amazon and um, a yellow backdrop which you'll see later on i got that from etsy actually so i think the size on the backdrop was like a five by seven i don't remember 100 percent, but again i'll link that information and it required a lot of finessing because um, vertically it wasn't really giving me as enough width that I wanted to and I wanted to make sure it didn't look like I was just standing in front of a curtain um, so I ended up hanging it sideways and decided I was only gonna get like mid thigh shots like not all the way full to the ground and when I needed to get um, full body shots I would just flip it so right now it took us a long time to get everything to stand up the way it needed to stand up the wind was definitely working against our favor and knocking everything down so it took us a little bit of time but we figured out um the exact placement for lighting for wind and for for everything just to be how it was me so yeah
this is her. this is the main photographer. He's behind all of the creative direction of these pictures, and this is the staff. So we're here. Clip. Um, we finally got the backdrop for the perfect lighting, and we're basically getting ready to shoot at this point. So I just wanted to make sure to show you guys the process. As you can see, there's a lot of hands on deck. There, the production staff went crazy. Shout out to my mom, my cousins, and my little brother. And yeah. So now it's time for scene change. So I really, my favorite color is yellow. So I really wanted to make sure that I had some type of yellow and palm tree type aesthetic. So we ended up switching out the backdrops um, and moving the backdrop to another position to match the sun because at that point the sun had left the right side. So we had to rearrange and we brought in the balloons at this point as well. So as you can see, we're just getting everything together. Lots of greenery everywhere. Um, yeah. It's my wanted. birthday. No, but we're working with you at the sale. Okay, guys. We are done. Give me a good rating. Actually, he gets an 8 out of 10 okay. for first time photography. The production and crew. God, she's dirty. Mm. The production and crew. Thank you. Okay. It's a wrap. I hope you guys loved the video. As you can see, I'm absolutely exhausted, but if you love this content, just let me know.